Um, if there were one aspect of Downton Life that you could take home with you, what would it be? If anything. The Bentley? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe the Bentley. Yeah. Uh, having someone cook for you. Yes. Uh, I, I'd leave the, the stiff collars and the bow ties behind. Uh, it's not, not a lot. lot. It's not a lot from that era. But no. no. So it was such a turbulent time in British history, really, wasn't it? And yet there seems to be such a nostalgia for that time through Downton. Why do you think that is? Well, d- Downton's a very romantic view, you know, and, and uh, they're very, very benign employers, the, the Granthams, or uh, Crawleys, or whatever. What do they call? And the six years and never knew what they were called. The Grantham Crawleys? Make up your mind. The Granthams. The Granthams. I would say. Yeah. I'm an expert. So, you know, it, it's a very, as you say, it was a turbulent time after the war, the Spanish flu, we're coming up to the general strike and everything, and, and here we are, all sunlit and lovely and benign. So, but this. But times are changing. Times are changing. One of the final lines is uh, life is going to be different. Um, yes, it is, but we'll manage. And uh, it's about people coping, but it's, it's also it's about love, isn't it, really? So it's about romance. And it's about family. And, and for love and family, and uh, shown in a very romantic yeah, light. You know, I can see you going soppy. Oh, yeah. You know, I just don't You're even a romantic love Downton. I am. I am. Um, I mean, both of your characters are very dedicated to the family as a whole. And there was some, particularly, I think, in Moulsey at the beginning, where he's very um, affected by his circumstances and yet genuinely loves his job. Where do you think that devotion comes from, or where do you, where, like, where do you access that? Well, I think. That, do you mean? Do you mean why? Why? Uh, I'm not quite sure the, 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 the purpose of the question. I, I, I'll answer it. All right. Then, then, <laughs> okay. All right. And then, then, and then you can join in, right, not okay. nod or disagree. <laughs> I, I think we're talking about a time when, when the concept of duty was much more understandable yeah. than it is now. And I think Carson in particular is absolutely dedicated to the family, to tradition, to the way things are done, to uphold the tradition. And that sort of concept of duty that you'd see at the, at the age, and that's why we all love sort of the story of Shackleton and, and people like that, Captain Scott, people doing their duty in, in adverse conditions. Uh, and it's a sort of concept that's faded a lot nowadays. <laughs> and I think Carson shows it most strongly, but Mr. Molesley, you know, is incredibly conscious, is incre- tries incredibly hard, despite everything that life throws at him. He, he, you know, and, and that's why the audience love him, because he, he struggles to survive, and, and he does with his cheerful, never say die disposition. Kind and compassionate, which but is also, why it's so wonderful to But also, I think um, people had very little choice in their, their lives back then. You know, mm. you. you Mr. You, characters like like these would have done what their fathers did and what their grandfathers did. So you're born into service, mm. and you didn't think that there was any option in life mm. but to continue that. Mm. But and and yet, towards the last couple of series of Downton, we're seeing that the world is changing, and that not not and that's not only for upstairs, but downstairs oh, staff as well are beginning to see that there are yeah. perhaps other opportunities yeah. on the horizon. Yeah. I mean, as a character who is so reluctant to change, really, more so than anyone else, mm-hmm. I reckon, how do you think Carson's going to adjust to, hopefully, married life? Uh, yeah, so slowly, really, <laughs> but, but with the help of Mrs Hughes, he will, you know, because uh, he, he resists change, but he, you know, he's, ultimately he's pragmatic and he goes with it, and she helps, she helps him along, you know, in, in her affectionate, understanding, slightly acerbic way. Uh, They'll survive. Um, yeah. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll thrive. 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 I'd say so. Um, yeah. So where do we, I mean, if Downton were to continue for another, I don't know, five, ten years, where would you see your characters going, or where would you like your characters to go? It's it's hard because we're on the cusp of big changes now, so it's difficult to speculate what would happen to those characters, to that house, would that house survive? That way of life is coming. It's coming to an end. Uh, Carson would. I mean, we wouldn't cope well with the general strike and all that because he would think, you know, you can't rise up against your master. So he would think that's appalling. Difficult to speculate, really. That's why, thank Presum- God it's finished. Presumably, at some point, I mean, I, I guess these characters are looked after. You know, when they get older, I, I guess they're looked after. Are they, they Given a cottage, cottage on, the, on the estate, you know, but, but if the family has to sell up, 
you know, as yeah. a sort of Mr. Mason, what happens to them then? Yeah. There's no welfare state, there's no safety net. No. You're dependent on the kindness of strangers. Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Don't, 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 don't get sorry, worried. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll survive. All right, so I'll ask you the animal question then. Um, if Mr. Marsley and Mr. Harson were animals, what would they be? Yeah. A, a, sort of a scared, a scared rabbit. Probably. No, no. Yes, yes. At least you're in a tiger. No, no. Uh, not at the moment. I think he feels a bit like yeah. a scared rabbit. Carson. I think Carson will be a Carson will be a dodo. <laughs> extinct. <laughs> extinct. Large and gainly and extinct. <laughs> Tries to fly but can't quite. No. Manage it. <laughs> Well, it was so lovely to meet you both. Lovely. We have to wrap up. Lovely. Thank you so much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!